this feels weird. Hey guys, my name is Natalie and welcome to Up Your Vlog. Now it has been a while since I've uploaded a video to this YouTube channel. Probably the last one that I did was in January and I think it was for a Christmas Lush haul, but in January. Okay. So it feels a little bit weird to be back doing this. Um, just to give you a brief update of what I've been up to, I've been doing a lot of work on my blog. Um, that has been sort of my main focus um, since January. And yeah, I thought I would get back into the swing of things and do some more YouTubing. So you may have heard of a company called Unique. It is very similar to Avon. Um, it's sort of a pyramid scheme company where they employ, well, you become a presenter um, and then you sell the products to your family and friends. And once you get to a certain level, you can then hire other people, maybe family, friends, and then benefit from whatever they sell. So one of my family friends from home, Stacey Whitehurst, is a unique presenter. I want to say that I've got quite a couple of friends who are unique presenters and I will put their links, their profiles down in the description below. But Stacey's can be found right here. Bing, 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 bing. She's based up in Stoke-on-Trent, so obviously if you're living in Stoke-on-Trent, she would be the person to go to. Um, I don't know whether it's different if you live in a different area, you have a representative around there. So hopefully this isn't too bright, I can't really see from here, it is very bright, but hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. So Stacey um, sent me some Moodstruck 3D Fibre Lashes, and these are something that I've heard a lot about, um, mainly on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, they're meant to be very good at creating that sort of false eyelash effect but a very natural false eyelash and without the hassle of using glue. I have never been great at applying eyelashes. Um, I will show you some photos of my 18th birthday. They did not look good at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've always wanted to try the 3D fibre lashes out. So it says here that I need to Place brush at the root of lashes and gently sweep to tip. Easily washes off with soap and warm water or shine eye makeup remover cloths. I'm guessing the shine eye makeup remove cloths are something that you purchase from Unique as well. This is the first time that I'm actually opening this box, so it's literally first time opening, unboxing. Oh my gosh, exciting. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, okay. So it comes in a little sleeve like this. I will also be writing a blog post on this as well. I'm gonna try and get some screenshots from this recording and put it up on my blog as well. So you have the Moodstruck 3D Fibre Lashes Transplanting, Transplanting Gel, Transplanting Gel, Gel Transplantant. And then I also have the Moodstruck 3D Fibre Lashes, which are the 3D fibers. Okay, so I'm now going to zoom in so you can get a better look at my eyes. Okay, so these are my natural eyelashes. This is without any eye makeup whatsoever. I removed it with my Garnier Micellar Water. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so I've got my little instruction manual here. It says, apply an even coat of transplanting gel to lashes. So let's try a bit of that, what it looks like. So yeah, it's literally like a mascara wand. I don't know where that's gonna show. So I'm just gonna apply these. Okay, so that is the transplanting gel. And then, from what it says, I need to apply the 3D fibers as the gel is wet. So here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, looks like I'm putting fear on my eyes. Oh, oh wow, okay. So you, obviously you can see the difference already with the fibres on. Um, it's really weird to apply because it just looks like you're applying fluff to your eyelashes. Um, it obviously, when you look close to it, like from afar here, that you can see that it looks quite natural, but up close it's quite fairy um, so I'm not quite sure whether I like that or not I will apply some more transplanting gel just to bind that in so the transplanting gel sort of gets rid of that fluffiness um, it kind of binds it onto your eyelashes um, and that's the result from one so I'm going to try a second application to see whether that makes any more difference. So I'm going to go with the transplanting gel again. I don't know whether you're meant to leave it a couple of minutes to dry or... I'm not quite sure, but here we go again. And I think you just have to repeat it until you've reached the desired fullness. Um, so let's apply some more of this fairy stuff. Whoa. 
You do get a lot of the fluff coming off on you. Okay, so that's the second application. So right now, my eyelashes do look as if they've got falsies on. Um, and I'm not quite sure whether I like it with a second application. I think it's all down to personal preference on what you like. Um, but I think I prefer just one application. So what I'm going to do now is just do my other eye with one application and see the difference. So just applying some more of this transparent, it's transparent, transplanting gel onto my eyelashes, which actually benefits my eyelashes as well. It does give them a bit more of a lift than my usual mascara does. And I always have problems with this, this side of the eyelash actually, because there's, I think there's sections where my eyelashes have just like fallen out which is really bizarre I don't know why that has happened but I haven't been picking at them or anything I just can't get over how like I don't, you, I don't think you can see it from here but how fluffy it is it's really weird it's a very weird thing so this side is with two applications on and this side is with one application on now I would probably prefer the one application um, just because I don't know whether it's to do with the length of my eyelashes or maybe the thickness of them this side looks a little bit too false a bit too clumpy I want to say not natural enough um, is the word I'm looking for um, but this side I really like it's very weird using the fiber because it looks a bit like fluff on a mascara wand um, but after you've put the transplanting gel on it looks a lot better um, it looks a lot more natural so overall I'm quite happy with the result um, it's definitely something that I would use again um, probably just the one application is enough for my eyelashes again it's probably personal preference what your eyelashes look like natural um, and how much you'd want to apply um, but I definitely think this is worth the money if you want to glam up your eyes a little bit more rather than the usual sort of daily mascara that you would use. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is a, is a good purchase. Um, I don't know how long these would last for. Maybe they last a little bit longer than your usual mascaras. Um, but I definitely check out how long these should be used for and when they should be chucked out. So thank you Stacey for sending them. Um, I will definitely use them again and I will also feature this on my blog post. So if you would like to check out my blog post on that, that should be coming up very soon on www.upyourvlog.com. Um, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys. Um, so first I'm gonna try, I should read the instructions actually, this is quite exciting. Oh, nearly put myself in the eye then.